Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in to our webinar with Shizuoka. I'm joined today by Sandra Kwan who is the UK re representative for Tourism Shizuoka so thank you for joining me Sandra. Thank you very much Maddie for this opportunity. Absolutely. So during this webinar we're going to be giving you an introduction to this lesser known region in Japan. Um, we're going to cover how to get there and its unique selling points as well as activities in Shizuoka for different types of client. We're also going to look at what's new in the destination, spanning hotels, attractions, and airlift, as well as agent support, including additional training opportunities, fam trips, and marketing advice. We're also going to be showing you a range of educational videos um, that you can use for your own purposes in your sales as well. So Sandra, just a few questions to set the scene. Where exactly is Shizuoka in Japan and what's the best way to get there from the UK and Ireland? So which airlines are offering routes? Um, can you give us an overview of what's the best way to get there and where it is? Sure. Um, so Shizuoka is located in the south of the Chubu region, which is the central part of Japan. Um, and it's perfectly located on the Golden Route. So between Tokyo, Kyoto and Osaka. Now, the Golden Route, as a lot of people are aware, is very popular, especially for first time visitors to Japan. And Shizuoka is basically a bit off the beaten track, but um, convenient to get to on the Golden Route. So it takes one hour by Shinkansen, um, the famous bullet train to reach Shizuoka from Tokyo. And it's about one and a half hours hours from Kyoto and two hours from Osaka and there are actually six station stops in Shizuoka served by the Tokaido bullet train. Now there are a number of airlines from the UK that fly to Japan directly and indirectly such as Japan Airlines, Onapon Airways, British Airways, Finnair, Cathay Pacific etc and so there are a variety of ways to reach Japan. Now interestingly there's also um, the Mount Fuji Shizuoka airport which serves domestic routes and other Asian destinations such as um, Korea and various parts of China. So this could actually be another option for any visitors considering um, entering the home of Mount Fuji mm -hmm. this way during their travels in Asia. And then not forgetting um, the Shimizu Cruise Port, uh, which is one of three of the most beautiful ports in Japan with its stunning backdrop of Mount Fuji and major cruise lines such as Princess Cruises, Norwegian Cruise Lines, Azamara. They all have Shizuoka with um, Shimizu Port as part of their itinerary um, with various land excursions to choose from. Now, I want to just quickly describe how Shizuoka is made up, um, just to give us sort of more insight. Um, there are four areas to explore. So you've got the western area, which is centred on the city of Hamamatsu, uh, which is more known for its manufacturing, like automobiles and musical instruments. But also in this region, there are beautiful views from the shores of the magnificent Lake Hamana, um, the tea plantations, um, which are spread out among the mountain villages, um, and also the view of the horizon from the Cape at the southernmost point in Shizuoka. Now visitors can also enjoy seasonal flowers or relax at the hot springs by the lake. Um, lake Hamana is actually a central attraction um, itself with entertainment around it. Um, you've got hot springs and gourmet food. And then you've got the central area which lives and breathes history and culture and is also a place of great natural beauty with its coastline, green tea plantations and the mountains of the Southern Alps. Um, and visitors can cross Suruga Bay, which is the deepest bay in Japan and admired the spectacular view of Mount Fuji on a clear day. Now, the eastern area, which is um, divided into two parts. Um, so in the north, you've got the Fuji area, which spreads out at the base of Japan's most iconic site, so the breathtaking Mount Fuji. And in the south, you've got Izu Peninsula, which is surrounded by the ocean on three sides and offers stunning natural scenery, including um, beautiful, beach beautiful beaches, golden sunsets over the Pacific Ocean, as well as a variety of gourmet seafood, which is exclusive to Izu. Okay, fantastic. And what would you say are Shizuoka's unique selling points? I mean, what makes it stand out from other regions in Japan? So Shizuoka is home to a majestic Mount Fuji. So it's a UNESCO World Cultural Heritage Site and the symbol of Japan. Um, it's a region of outstanding natural beauty with 500 kilometers of spectacular Pacific coastline, beautiful green tea plantations and scenic mountains. And Shizuoka enjoys a warm oceanic climate. Um, and just to give you an idea of temperatures, it averages about 10 degrees in January, and it goes up to 15 to 19 degrees in spring, then around 30 degrees in summer, and then down to really pleasant temperatures in the autumn from September to November. And you'll find a land of mountains, valleys, rugged coastline, long stretches, of beach, lakes, rivers and waterfalls. Now due to the climate and bountiful natural resources, Shizuoka is home to some of the finest food Japan has to offer and it's a major producer of green tea in Japan and also a top producer of wasabi and with its long Pacific coastline, seafood is another regional specialty. 
Now, the quaint steam locomotive train on the Ogawa Railway in the central part of Shizuoka offers a lot of breathtaking scenery to be seen along the way, and visitors can enjoy a Japanese-style bento box on the train. Um, Shizuoka has been a tea-producing uh, region for hundreds of years, so it is highly recommended to learn about Shizuoka tea and experience both tea picking and the traditional tea ceremony. And there are many stunning views to enjoy, and these scenes are from taking a more laid back leisurely view by train. Now, crossing the Bridge of Dreams, which is 90 metres long, over um, by foot over the Sumatakia Gorge, um, it's located in Kawanahan in central Shizuoka. It's a unique spectacle and experience. Um, it has several hiking trails from it to really enjoy nature. And with its long coastline, Shizuoka is a treasure trove of gourmet food, seafood, um, and there are many fishing ports such as Numazu and Yazu. So it is always possible to have some fresh fish or shellfish. And among these ports, the ports of um, Shimizu is particularly worth a visit. And Shizuoka has a great blend of uh, history, culture and nature with historical sites such as uh, the Kakagawa Castle that was built in the 16th century, the Hongu Sengen Taisha Shrine which is believed to date back more than 2,000 years, to a manufacturing town for automobiles and musical instruments. And the great outdoors that include cycling, paragliding, hiking, horse riding, golf and different types of water sports. And there are a variety of authentic experiences to the visitor um, to enjoy, to really connect with this hidden gem of a prefecture. Fantastic. It was great to see all those Shizuoka scenes, Sandra, in the video there. But I was wondering if you could talk a little bit more about the top activities in Shizuoka um, and what you'd recommend agents suggest to their clients. And also for each activity that you talk about, what type of client it would be best suited to and who agents should be talking about these activities too. Sure. So spring is without a doubt the most popular time that visitors choose to travel to Japan because of cherry blossoms. Um, now, due to the mild climate, spring blossoms come early in the Izu Peninsula, while much of Japan is actually still blanketed in snow. So this region in Shizuoka is famous for its early flowering cherry blossoms called Kawazu Sakura um, that are vibrant pink in colour. Now, in the seaside town of Kawazu in Izu, the cherry blossoms bloom as early as mid-February. And during the bloom, there are cherry blossom festivals held that you can sample the local food whilst strolling on the river to enjoy the wonderful view and perhaps stay overnight at one of the many sort of traditional yokan, which is a, a traditional Japanese inn, um, or enjoy an onsen, which is a hot spring. And there are other sort of beautiful flora scenes, which include the coastal daffodil fields in Shimoda, which is in the southeastern part of Izu. You've got plum blossoms in Atomi, which is 40 minutes from Tokyo, and the tulip blossoms at Hamamatsu Flower Park, which is west of Shizuoka. So swing long blossoms is great for everyone to enjoy. Um, so from families to couples, friends, the over 50s, etc. So um, it's just a very lovely sort of scene for everyone to really sort of view. Um, and I just got a quick video here to show the early spring blossoms in Shizuoka. So you can explore the east coast of Izu from the onsen town of Atomi, where you can stroll the grounds of the Museum of Art, Modern Art. Um, you can head down to Ito City to walk the jagged trails of Yogasaki uh, coast. Um, you can go diving or you can check out the views from Mount Omaru, which is a very unique looking extinct volcano uh, that looks like an upside down um, rice bowl covered in green grass. Um, visitors can actually take a chair lift up and then they can walk around the crater. And then you can visit the friendly capybaras at Izu Kogen and see the beautifully clear Lake Ipeki, which is a crater lake, uh, which was formed by an eruption about 100,000 years ago. Um, and then other things to enjoy is enjoy mountains at the seaside at Kawazu's Hot Springs, which overlook the waterfalls or the ocean. Um, and then you can conclude the trip in the historic town of Shimoda for surfing, seafood and coastal exploring. And here's a quick video to, um, that explores along the Izu's east coast.
Now, moving on, um, Shizuoka has a long history of traditional crafts and dining. And today there are several workshops you can take part in. So you can make sushi with a sushi chef at Shimizu Port using fresh seafood caught locally. Um, you can learn traditional um, Aizomi indigo dyeing, which is a method preserved um, since the Edo period at Gotemba, and then bring home your own sort of hand dyed scarf. You can knead and make your own soba at the foot of Mount Fuji in Fujinomiya. And then back in the industrial um, hamamatsu, you can learn traditional dyeing to make colorful flowery pieces. Um, hamamatsu is also famous for gyoza, so you can actually make your own dumplings and even make your own soy sauce to go with it. And here's um, a quick look at the workshops you can do in Shizuoka. Okay, brilliant. So we've heard about some fantastic um, coastal activities there, but what about beaches? Would you say Shizuoka is a good destination to promote to, promote to people who love the beach? Yes, so being so near to Tokyo, the beaches of Shizuoka, and in particular Izu Peninsula, is a welcome site for many UK visitors. Um, the prefecture offers a choice of white sandy beaches to relax on, a hidden beach for adventure, you've got waters to surf on, um, you've also got scenic coastal walks and unforgettable sunsets as well. Okay, brilliant. We've got another short video to show now, which is going to highlight um, Shizuoka's beaches. So let's take a look. Okay, and, and what about luxury travellers? Are there any kind of luxury activities um, or destinations that you would recommend agents suggest to their clients? Yes, so the authentic experiences that can be enjoyed in Shizuoka is actually great for all travellers, including luxury travellers. I mean, these experiences are very unique. Um, luxury travellers can choose to connect with the local community or they can choose to enjoy the traditional ryokans with onsen baths and also the modern spas as well. Okay, great. I believe we also have a video that shows health and wellness in Shizuoka, so let's take a look at that now. Okay, fantastic. So all of these videos that you've seen today during this webinar are available on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash explore Shizuoka. So do take a look at that. Um, and of course, they're free to use in your marketing and to talk to clients about and all of that kind of thing. So moving on to what's new in Shizuoka, Sandra, are there any destination developments such as new hotels, attractions or airlift um, that agents should really know about and have on their radar at the moment? Yeah, sure. So there are some new interesting accommodations that have opened up. So um, there's a Fuji Speedwell uh, Speedway Hotel, which opened in early October this year, um, basically offers a fully immersive journey um, combining the excitement of a motorsports museum that looks out over the iconic racetrack. 
um, also the luxury uh, boutique hotel and also the stunning backdrop of Mount Fuji. Um, then you've got the Villa and Barrel Lounge, which is very unique again because um, it opened in July um, in the small port town of Mochimune in um, central Shizuoka. And it's run by a local brewery and it's designed under the concept of staying at a brewery. So interestingly, all the rooms feature beer taps um, serving up to 10 litres of a craft beer, which is designed exclusively for guests. And then other facilities include like a barrel lounge serving barrel aged beers. Then you've got local at Inishizu. Uh, which is located in the beautiful Izu Peninsula. And this new luxury villa is actually a, re a renovated Kominka house, uh, which is a traditional Japanese style house. And it dates back um, over many years. Um, it's located in the mountains and it boasts views of Suruga Bay below. So it's perfect for guests to enjoy the natural beauty of the area. And then some new experiences um, to share is the Miyoshi um, sushi making and also Japanese culture experience. So you can try hands-on sushi making experience at a Japanese style restaurant um, that boasts a great view of Mount Fuji and then you can meet the friendly hosts. Um, you can enjoy dressing up in a kimono and all that. Um, then you also got the Izu Panorama Park, which basically um, on a private terrace of the Izu Panorama Park, you can see like a panoramic view of Mount Fuji on a clear day. Um, and then there's a geisha that will serve you tea and sweets um, and also tell you about geisha history um, and geisha dance as well. Oh, interesting. OK, that sounds great. So also what we're going to cover in this webinar is the agent support that she's is offering to the trade at the moment. I was wondering if Shizuoka is offering any agent training opportunities at the moment, obviously, aside from this webinar, and whether that's at events or online. Yes, most definitely. So um, there's no online training course for Shizuoka, but I do offer um, virtual training or in-person training. So I can tailor the content to make it relevant for the agent or the travel company and can help to recommend on different experiences available. So as mentioned earlier, Tourism Shizuoka Japan have also um, created some great virtual tours that can all be accessed under their YouTube channel. Um, so you can keep a lookout for Shizuoka at various trade events as well, such as um, with Pata, which also acts as great training opportunities and I know it's important to keep up the awareness of the prefecture and as Japan sees a lot more demand from the UK market um, before long clients will want to see more and more of the destination and Shizuoka really fits in well with this too. Okay brilliant and I know fam trips are a great training opportunity for agents do you have any plans to run any in the coming months um, and, and if you do how can agents sign up or get involved with them? Yes, so um, UK fam trips to Shizuoka are certainly in our plans to consider um, as they are a great way to bring experiences to life and it's an invaluable way to learn about a destination. So now that Japan uh, borders are now open, uh, we can really put these plans in place for 2023 and beyond. Okay, great. And uh, now that agents have learned about Shizuoka during this webinar, I wondered if you have any marketing tips for destination. Are there any fun facts that agents could pull out to draw customers' attention? Or, or do you have any resources available, which could be like posters, images? Um, obviously, we know we have, you have videos. But yeah, can you talk a little bit about that? Sure. Um, so as mentioned earlier, Mount Fuji is a popular highlight for many visitors to Japan. Um, it's therefore good to know that this iconic mountain can be viewed in full from Shizuoka, whereas other areas such as Hakone, you can only view the top part of the mountain. Um, and to offer a better and more comfortable experience for your clients, Shizuoka is actually quieter and is less crowded. Um, visitors can then really enjoy the nature of Mount Fuji, such as the waterfalls and the trail walks amongst the rich green forest. Um, and some interesting facts to take away, um, Shizuoka has the highest number of accommodations with onsen in all of Japan. Uh, Shiraito Falls, uh, one of the great waterfalls in Japan actually, is located in Fujinomiya and it measures 20 metres high and 150 metres wide. And the cascading waters coming, um, they actually come down from the melted snow from Mount Fuji itself, so it's really lovely. Um, Hamamatsu City on the western side of Shizuoka is a manufacturing area, as I said before, um, which is also famous for Yamaha um, and it occupies 100% um, of the shipments. And then Fujinomiya Yakisoba is simply delicious. Um, and it's seasoned with dry sardine powder rather than bonito flakes, which is often used in other kinds of fried noodles. So the flavor is really, really tasty. And a fun fact, um, Shizuoka is one of the station stops featured in Brad Pitt's Bullet Train movie. So keep a look out for that. Um, and then in terms of resources, agents can certainly get in touch for um, digital copies of literature and also for some really beautiful images. Um, Tourism Shizuoka Japan have a great selection of images that are really inspiring. 
Great. Some fantastic fun facts in there. <laughs> they really grab customer attention. <laughs> <laughs> and before we wrap up, is there anything else that you think agents should know about selling to Zorka at the moment? Yes. Um, so seeing the iconic Mount Fuji is certainly one of the highlights for many visitors to Japan and Shizuoka offers this well. Um, add value to your clients next trip to Japan um, and surprise them about the beaches in Shizuoka that are so near to Tokyo. Um, you can draw them into the unique and authentic experiences to explore and really help them create amazing memories of their trip. I mentioned about um, spring blossoms as a lovely time to visit, but often really undersold is the autumn leaves, which is another stunning time to enjoy Shizuoka. Um, the weather cools down and the cuisine is, goes to another level of deliciousness um, with the harvest rolling in. Um, and the colours of the leaves are just so beautiful from the vibrant oranges, yellows and reds. Um, and you can see these views when you sort of walk through the hot springs town of Shuzenji in um, Izu, or you can enjoy the season's harvests and delicious food in Gotemba, uh, which is located beside Mount Fuji. You can cycle on golden rice fields in Fujinomi at the foot of Mount Fuji, or you can escape to Kuane at the foothills of the Japan Southern Alps in a steam locomotive train. So cherry blossoms is not the only time of the year to enjoy Shizuoka or Japan as a whole, in fact. Um, and most definitely check out the Explore Shizuoka website, which is packed full of interesting information, um, along with a selection of different experiences to enjoy that can be shared to your customers. And all these are shown under the activity section of the website. And agents can contact me directly with any questions that um, may have about Shizuoka, including areas and what to do and see for their clients. And I also highly recommend um, following Shizuoka on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram for regular snippets of like wonderful and inspirational information and images of the prefecture. And um, there's just lots of interesting things to learn about Shizuoka. Absolutely. And we've heard many of them today. So thank you, Sandra, for sharing all your insight into Shizuoka. Um, it's an exciting time for Japan right now as well. So great timing. Thank you also to everyone who's tuned in to watch. Um, you can find the video section on teachingme.com homepage for all of our latest webinars. Um, so thank you again, Sandra. And thank you viewers. Take care. Thank you so much. <laughs>